Oh man, it is currently 3.30 a.m. in the morning and Global just got a very small data download. I think it was around like 22 megabytes or something like that. And all I gotta say is it's about damn time, man. I mean, over the past couple of days, every single time the clock hit 8 p.m., actually a couple of minutes before that, I was in the app refreshing the news just trying to find something new, man, some signs of life, some sign that Bandai hadn't completely forgotten about part two of the Android 13 celebration. And as it turns out, I finally have some positive news or just news in general to bring to my fellow global players, which is something I haven't been able to say in quite some time. And as you can see on the screen right now on DBZ Space, the LR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Super Saiyan Goku has officially been scheduled for release on Global and is coming on on April 19th at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which for me would be the morning of April 20th. And since it's currently April 17th, that means he's coming out in about three days from now, right? I mean, it's super late, guys, or super early, and my brain's not working. I think it's three days, though, so expect the Double Rates banner with this guy on it to come out in about three days. Get your stones ready for anybody that's summoning. As I've said multiple times over the past couple of days, um, I don't think his banner is great. The unit himself is very, very strong. Super, super good unit, don't get me wrong, but his banner is quite trash. We'll take a look at it in just a second. But I guess first things first, let's take a look at the unit so that you guys have a good idea of what he does, what he's all about. So the uh, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is called Miracle Waking Super Saiyan Super Saiyan Goku. His leader skill is Super Saiyan's Category Key Plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 130%. Obviously not as good of a leader as the Namek Transforming Goku, but uh, if you guys don't have him, this guy is definitely a good leader for the category as well. And even under a 130% lead, the category, the team is just absolutely insane, obviously. Um, Super Attack 12 key is Energy Meteor, which greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And the uh, 18 key is Super, or sorry, Spirit Bomb Super Saiyan, which causes Mega Colossal damage and lowers attack and defense and also seals Super Attack, which can be useful on certain events. Obviously, not super useful for events where the enemy can't be sealed, which is happening more and more often these days. But, uh, you know, nice to have anyways. And the passive is Super Saiyans Fighting Together, and it gives him attack and defense plus 59%. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. Key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, and attack plus 7% per key sphere obtained per Super Saiyan category ally self excluded attacking in the same turn. Okay, so basically the way this works is that he gets attack and defense plus 59% just for no reason, right? Just no condition. And he also will give himself a ton of extra key for getting rainbow key spheres. And of course he does change key spheres to rainbow. So he's helping himself out in that sense as well. So he's gonna be getting a lot of key. You're gonna be getting his 18 key super off pretty frequently. And in addition to that, he gets attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, right? So he's a bit of a nuker there. But if you have a full Super Saiyans team or if you have a rotation with all Super Saiyans, then he's getting attack plus 21% per key sphere obtained because he gets an additional 7% per Super Saiyans category ally, excluding himself, right? So it's 7% right here, plus the extra 14% for the two allies. So 21% attack per key, key sphere obtained on top of the 59% here. And uh, of course he's getting 18 key supers constantly. And of course he has LR stats. So that's 20,000 attack that's being multiplied by the passive here. And it's just crazy. Like his damage is ridiculous, man. This dude hits super, super, super hard. Um, like the damage is out of control. And defensively, he's gonna be decent too. Of course he has 59% defense here. And also he gets 7% defense per key sphere obtained. He also greatly raises defense on the 12 key. So he's gonna be super tanky um, on the 12 key or after doing the 12 key. So uh, yeah, overall an amazing, amazing unit for sure. Uh, links are Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Prepare for Battle, 
Fierce Battle and Legendary Power. So a pretty solid Link set as well. And categories are Pure Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, uh, Super Saiyans, and Last Resort. And the Last Resort category, of course, is not available on Global at the moment because it is a, a category that's going to be added um, when the five-year LRs come out because they are the main leaders for the category. So uh, that is the unit for you guys. Is there anything else you need to know? I don't really think so. Um, no, so that is the LR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku. I definitely will be summoning just because I want him really, really bad. But I wouldn't recommend people to really spend too many stones on him just because I don't feel like his banner is very good. I think that you should save your stones as much as possible. Uh, maybe two to three multis at most. For me personally, I'll do like, you know, six multis maybe, but that's just, that's just because you know, I'm making the content, right? So it's kind of kind of makes sense, but I think for the average player, especially if you're free to play, um, saving for the five-year anniversary is still the main priority. It's still the main goal, all right? Those banners, a million times better than this guy's banner. So we've gone through the actual unit himself. So let's actually move on to the banner, which I said is uh, quite the opposite of him. So he's awesome. He's amazing. The banner really isn't all right so this is the banner right here as you can see we have this guy he's there you want to pull him that's the main prize the main goal here and then everybody else is just like kind of meh man i mean we got like you know this piccolo that has an extreme z awakening uh, i think actually with the um with the celebration these guys like this vegeta and this trunks i believe also got extreme z awakenings and maybe him too I think I could be wrong. All right, so don't hold me to that. I forgot exactly what happened during the celebration, but uh, I know that a couple of units do get Extreme Z Awakenings. And also, um, you know, the rest of the banner is just like, okay, right? Like we have this Piccolo, he's decent attack all unit, I guess. This Vegeta's not bad, and this guy's pretty new. He's okay, but <laughs> I mean, it's just not a great banner. There's a million featured SSRs as you can see, so the rates to pull this guy is not super high. Although it is a double rates banner, so keep that in mind. Okay, that's important. Um, it's a double rates banner, so you're gonna have double the chances, I guess, of pulling him, which in this case would be something like, uh, I think like 0 0.7, 0 0.8 percent, something like that, which is not bad for a legendary summon banner, that's for sure. And you also have a higher chance of pulling LRs in the unfeatured pool. That's true. But um, even, you know, in, in, the, in the case here with the double rates, it's just your chance of getting shafted still very, very high. And I just don't think it's a good idea to spend too many stones on double rates banners. It's one of those situations where you're probably going to pull a lot of SSRs. You're probably going to pull a ton of like, you know, unfeatured SSRs. But even if you pull like five SSRs in a multi, you're still gonna, you're still going to feel super disappointed, super empty, unless you pull an LR. So... I'm just saying, man, like, I don't think it's worth it. It's up to you. Some people are going to wail out on this banner, I know, but uh, I would go conservative for sure. And one other thing about this banner is that it was the Christmas banner on JP, and they got Kai's every single time they did a multi. And uh, we actually got JP's Christmas banner the year before. I think that was for LR Trunks and Mai, and we still got the Kai's for the banner, even though it wasn't our Christmas banner, right? So... Uh, I think for this banner, we're also going to be getting Kai's for every multi, or at least one Kai, I think, for every multi we do. So that's a nice bonus if uh, that does end up happening like last year. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not the worst banner. It's uh, definitely better than your average, I think, legendary summon banner, but I still don't think it's like that good value. I'm just being honest. So there's the banner. Not amazing. And uh, I think that's pretty much all there is to talk about, guys. I mean, wait, did I prepare anything else? Uh, no, there's the last resort category. So no, that is all the info I have for you today. That's uh, all I really got to say. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you feel about this Spirit Bomb Goku. Are you going to be summoning personally? Are you going to be summoning? Are you going to be... Oh, no, 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 that makes sense. It's late. I don't know. My brain's not working. Will you be summoning for the LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku? How many stones do you plan to spend? And uh, of course, the full information for part two of... The uh, Android 13 celebration, including this guy, will be you know in the news on Global uh, at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard, or sorry, Eastern Standard Time uh, later today. So once that comes out, I'll make another video filling you guys in all the details, the Extreme Z Awakenings, all that good stuff. But for now, 
And that's all I gotta say. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys are excited for finally something new on Global, which once again, is something I haven't been able to say in quite some time. So I'm definitely happy for that. And uh, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.